We have Mark on the line. He's asking for our help. Oh, hey, what's going on? Thanks for uh, having me on. I mean, I feel like it was pretty standard fare. Nothing crazy. Met online, agreed to go out to have a nice little bite to eat, like a drink. And there was just a standard get to know each other sitting across from a table at a restaurant. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. I was, <laughs> I was nice to the wait staff. I was on time. I was, you know, got a shower, shave, haircut. I put on my, you know, good shoes. I mean, you even had your good yeah. shoes on? Dang, you put in a lot of effort. <laughs> I mean, got fresh cologne and everything. So Wow, uh, that's admirable. Awesome. So so how did yeah. the date go? Like, what happened? I feel like the date went swimmingly. Like, I don't understand what I could have done to screw this up. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, like, okay. what do you mean screw it up? I don't, like I said, I'm calling you. I need the reinforcements because I've texted. I've not blown up her phone with phone calls or anything. I have uh, refrained from stalking her at work at home. I thought that wouldn't be a, a wise play. So <laughs> I thought the next best thing would be to uh, call up you guys. All right. Well, hey, that's what we're here for. The matchmakers. We're going to see what we can do. Get you some answers. All right, buddy. Thank you. All right. Hold on the line. Matchmakers. Talked to Mark just a few minutes ago looking for some help with getting another date with Christina. Right. He says he did everything right. You know, he put in a lot of effort for this first date, but now uh, she's ghosting him. So we want to know what's going on with Christina. Christina, thanks for joining us on the show this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tell us about your date with Mark. Like, what happened? Because he thought it went really well. Yeah, I I bet he thought it went really well for sure. Um, Mark was a a nice guy, looked nice, dressed up for the date, took me to a nice, nice place. Um... The only problem is I didn't feel like he was on the date with me. I felt like I was the third wheel what? and he would rather have been on a date with the waitress. Oh, no. With the waitress? <laughs> I do think it's really important to be kind to your wait staff. Mm-hmm. But on a first date, maybe don't flirt with the server. Oh, no. What did he do? Every time the server would come over, I mean, he would make her laugh and giggle and then he would see that she would laugh and make her laugh more and I'd be like hello I I mean it was just it got a little awkward um he was winking at her there was arm touching it was just not something I was comfortable with and I even I even cut the date short I just couldn't wait to get out of there oh that makes sense then yeah well you know how this works with the matchmakers uh Mark's been listening I think we need. I think it's a good time to bring him online, right? Yeah, because now, okay, now I can see that. Now that makes sense. All right, Mark. Hey, what's uh, you heard what what Christina just said? So, like, were you overly flirty with the waitress, dude? I am running back the date in my head, at least when the waitress is at our table, and I honestly don't think I was flirting. I really don't know what me flirting looks like. I thought I was just being nice to the waitress. Completely understand that, Mark. I like I said, I've been a waitress before. You do need to be kind to the wave staff, but I don't feel like I got a chance to get to know you because you were busy talking to her. She even left her phone number on the bill. What? And you commented, what? oh, that's so weird. Oh, no. Mark! Mark! First of all, Mark, did you wink at her? But it was like an exaggerated. It was, it was no like on the fly wink, like a very exaggerated. I was kind of being like a, like over the top. Like I thought that was evident. Like oh. who, because who, who in the right mind would wink at the waitress when on a date with someone? Well, I think that Christina didn't know that you were joking because, oh, I mean, she she didn't she doesn't know you really. You know, she was trying to get to know you. Maybe maybe that's why. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, hold on, hold on. Now back to the phone number. She left her phone number on the bill. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But I didn't ask for her phone number. I mean, that's oh. not on me. I didn't say, hey, can I get your number with the bill? She just did that on her own. Okay, can we, we just let's yeah, clarify think- this right now. Mark, you did not call her, correct? Of course. I'm calling you guys. Okay. I'm trying to call Christina. <laughs> if I was talking to the waitress, I wouldn't be here right now. That's oh, a really good point, Christina. Yeah, He's got a point there. Okay, date number two, uh, pairs synchronized swimming. That's just me and you. No third wheel. Just uh, a <laughs> staring contest. That's two people. Uh, a quiet trip to the library. We could just sit in silence. Um, I'm just trying to come up with dates know. that don't involve waitresses. <laughs> silence. So, so, Christina, is it a yes or a no? I I just don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Let me think about it. I'll we'll talk to you a, later. Hey, I'll take a maybe with that. What, what do you think, Mark? Is it maybe okay for you? A, a, a maybe is much better than no contact. So right. I am sorry, Christina. I am very sorry for if I came across like that on the date. That wasn't my intent, and 
I will wait for your text. 101.9 WDEZ.